So what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Matan from Eldridge Gaming coming at you with a brand new with a brand new deck profile slash pack opening. And who am I with today? Corbin over here. And? And Dylan Roy, 93, uh, co-owner of Team Sworn. Alright, welcome to the welcome to the channel, you guys. Um guys, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Um, so there will be some pack openings. We will be doing a deck profile. The deck profile is, is Corbin's. Um, I believe my friend Dylan here is going to be showing the deck for us today. And, um, without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the pack openings. I'm going to move these onto the side for you guys. All right. So let's do, we're going to do the OTS pack first. Okay. Yep. All right, Corbin, open it up. All right, guys, we're hoping for an ulti. So let's let's see what we get. Ah, uh, right super. Here. Okay. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. Actually, it's not a bad super. That super's bad. actually gone up a bit. Yeah. We're hoping for a... Uh, Starlight. Starlight or pot. No, it's right over here. Oh, That's Arm Dragon Level 3, Thunder. Arm Dragon Level 3, guys. Angel Statue. Yep. Angel statue. I'm just gonna stack everything for you guys. Alright, so we got that. This. This. Super. And these. That's one. Oh, secret. Oh, secret. Arm Dragon level is that 10. One I told you it was a bit heavy. No, this one is. Arm Dragon level 10, guys. Secret rare. And the last pack. And the last pack, which is the heaviest one. So let's see what Corbin pulls. It's probably going to be nothing, but. Probably. Let's see. Oh, sorry, no, guys. No, Paramount Foes. Super. Super rare. All right, guys. So at least we got one secret for the pack pulls. All right. Now, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the deck profile. Um, Dylan, whenever you're ready, buddy. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys, so this is this, Dylan, what you got for us today, bro? Just call me a girl. <laughs> I said, bro. <laughs> All right, well, this is uh, Corbin's uh, Lightsworn Chaos deck. Yep. Um, it's better I explain because like I've done a lot of Lightsworn stuff over years as uh, team name is Team Sworn. And uh, why not get into this uh, deck profile then, right? Cool. Yeah, alright. Let's, let's see the deck, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, triple Raiden, normal yep. combo starter. Uh, when it's normal summon or special summon, no matter when it's on the field, you can build two cards. It gains attack if you know a Lightsworn. End phase, you can build two more cards. It is a level four uh, tuner, which is also pretty good. Uh, if he had a Heli Fabrax, you could do more combos, and there's a way you link. I actually have done it before. Yep. Uh, Double Luna, uh, it's good. It can brick you if you don't have anything else, and this is the only card you have for a Life Sworn name. It is bad if you don't have a graveyard already established or you don't have a way to get a life from the grave. Uh, end phase mill three. Uh, while it's on the field, you can discard a card, special summon a level four or lower life form, from your grave to your field. Yep. Uh, that is once per turn per copy. It is yep. not a hard once per turn. You can do it as many times as you want. So, quick question Why only two instead of three? Uh, that's the same thing I asked Corbin, but. Yeah. So, Corbin, why did you decide only two Lunas instead of three? I don't really know why, but I saw this, um, a different YouTuber who played two, so I'm giving me two a shot this time. If I need to take a three, I would just get rid of Monster Reborn. Okay, or sounds like, good. Or something along that line. Guys, d uh, comment down below if you guys think that Corbin should play three Lumina or two Luminas. Comment down in the description below. Let, let us know what you guys think. And four bricks, aka three wolves, <laughs> one police. The main bricks of the deck. You open any of these, you better have a way to get it out of your hand. Pretty much. You cannot normal summon these uh, when they're sent from deck to grave, you can special summon them. Except for this one has to be sent from deck 
be a monster effect to special summon it. Yep. And then while it's on the field, you contribute it, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and no three cards. Okay. Sounds Other good. Other than that, these are just beaters. And this is also a tuner. Right. Um, two Minerva. Yep. Uh, just so if you want to try to mill it or discard it by a card effect, then you get an extra mill when it hits grave. Sounds good. Uh, you're never going to normal summon, but if you do, you can add a dragon up to the stars equal to the amount of life swings in your grave with different names. Okay. Uh, one Lila. Uh, pretty standard. That's like all life swing decks. Yep. Uh, this one's a bit different. Twilight uh, Swarm. Mm -hmm. Lila. It, it basically does the same as Lila, but you have to banish a card for it. Yep. Uh, it's pretty good, and if it's on field and a different Light Sworn effect is activated, you have to mill three cards from the top of your deck. Sounds it, nice. The Twilight Sworns, unlike the normal Light Sworns, mm -hmm. do not mill at end phase. They mill when other Light Sworns activate their effects. Okay. Uh, one Twilight Lumina. Yep. Uh, if you have a banished uh, Light Sworn, you can banish a Light Sworn from your hand and or graveyard. Special mm -hmm. summon one of your banished ones. So say you already have one that's banished that's uh, not... Say it's a wolf. Yeah. Uh, and say I went and banished a Raiden yep. off of the, the effect, I can special that Raiden. Because I already had one in my banish, mm -hmm. it banishes for cost and then targets what it's going to summon. Sounds good. Uh, that's it for the Lysworn lineup besides JD, which is a school yeah. uh, boss monster for the deck. Mm -hmm. So why, Corbin, why only one judgment? Well, I think it'll be like two bricky kind of. Yeah, you only want one yeah. judgment dragon. Oh, okay. So not not to play two. Yeah. Okay. Sounds um, good. Two chaos dragon, love and air. Oh, so nice. And ultimate rare guys, ultimates. Look at that. Look at those beauties. Uh, one chaos empire dragon. The well used to be prize card, but now <laughs> everybody can get their hands on it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Not. I like it, but at the same time, I found it has bricked me at times when I played it in my deck. Yeah. But it is really good for certain combos. Okay. Archer Christia, just so you can control the game. Corbin, if I'm not mistaken, this is OG, isn't it? Yeah, OG Cedar. But not first edition. First edition is way more money. Okay. But you know, Guys, comment so down below if you guys, uh, of how much you guys think of this card is. And let, and let me know. It's not as much as it used to be. Yeah, unfortunately. Two Chaos Creator, which is basically what brought this deck back into fruition. Uh, if you don't know what this card does already, it's self-explanatory. It helps out the entire Chaos engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it also goes with the Chaos Valkyries. They, these came out together. Basically, these are your combo. If you can end board with this and this in your grave, you can basically set up for next turn. You have a way to survive one turn with this. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can OTK. Sounds good. There's many ways to OTK with this deck. Now, would you guys would you guys suggest for new Yu-Gi-Oh players that are coming that are just coming into the game to start playing this deck? Uh Lace Wars is easy to get into to learn to play, but if you're just starting out. Start out with normal light swords, not chaos light swords. Yep. If you start with normal light swords, you will learn the deck fast. Over time, the chaos engine is easy to learn too. So mm -hmm. you just start with normal and work your way up. Okay, and Dylan, how long? How long have you and how long have well, Corbin? We all know you've been playing light swords for many years. Since two thousand eight. Yeah, Dylan, how long have you actually been playing the deck? Since they came out in the OCG. So wow. Two thousand seven. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's continue. One Star Lage, because you want to use it to add back your dragons from your grave, like JD and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, standard white and black dragon, chaos combos. Uh, when one can search the other when it goes to grave. Unfortunately, they're at one apiece. Yep. To round out the monsters, one Trick Clown. The miscellaneous Trick Clown? Uh, actually, no, because Trick Clown is basically... It's an honorary light sworn card because all light sworn players have been playing it. If it's sent to the grave anyway, once per turn, you can pay a thousand special summon a performa power. Or not performa, perform age card. Oh, okay. You don't have to summon this. Say I had damage juggler, 
in this deck for him or a hat tricker. Any of these, it can special any of them, but everybody always thinks it just specials itself. Okay, okay. So basically, you pay 1,000 life points to bring it back. Yeah, bring back any performance. Okay. So on to spells? Yep. All right, let's see it. Uh, I'm just going to lay out six cards here because they're standard starters. All right. Uh, yeah. Triple charge, triple solar recharge. Um, the third ultimate rare is coming, guys. Yeah, no, third, coming. second and third. Oh, second and third. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So basically, mill three for cost. Even if they ash this, you still get your mill. Yeah. So you activate this. Mm -hmm. If they say ash, you say mills cost. <coughs> they already use their ash. You don't get the search, but you already started setting up your graveyard. Okay. Uh, soul recharge, discard a life swarm, draw two cards, and then mill two cards. The discard is cost, unfortunate. Um, it's, we don't get the mill for this, but you can use this if you want to bait out ash. Yep. Start with this, and then say if you have another life swarm, you just continue with the soul recharge. Go from there. It's pretty simple. Okay. Sounds good. It's just your consistency part of the deck. Yeah. Corbin, you're planning to get the two more alties, right? Yes, I am. And so maybe you should get some out. I want to buy them off Game Nation. Oh, yeah. Guys, do you guys want to give a shout out to anybody? Game Nation? Yep. Not really. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, guys, big shout out to Game Nation. Best team. Shout out to Team Sworn, of course. Um, shout out to, to, of course... The main, the main host of, uh, of this uh, deck. Um, shout out to Dylan for helping us. Um, shout out to my team, Team Nonstop Gaming. Um, shout outs to, of course, with, that, with all the teams being said, shout out to my boy Roy. Shout out to, to um, the, the whole Game Nation team, um, like Dominic Cow. Shout out to um, Ryan Yu. Uh, and everybody else on that team, Jesse Cotton. You are missing the main person, which is Ray. And Ray, of course. Um, shout outs to a couple of my, f of my main friends. Uh, shout outs to Bryce Watson. Uh, shout out to John Davis Hill. Shout outs to Michael Belly. Um, and especially a big shout out to Michael Belly, actually, for hooking me up with this amazing play mat. As you guys can see, it's a 2020 judgment. Um, and yeah, shout out to everybody else in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. You guys know who you are. Well, heads up, this is the first time with me holding physical cards in almost eight months. I haven't touched the game ever since the pandemic started. Yeah, and I really hope for those of you out there, especially in the States, I really hope you guys are staying safe, continue washing your hands, sanitizing, wear a mask everywhere you go, and just stay safe, guys, and try, and try to keep like, as much distances as possible from other people. All right, so let's finish this deck up. Yeah, let's get right back into this. Uh, three Chaos Space, also consistency. It can help you search out any of the Chaos cards <clears> in your deck. Uh, you can end up banishing it, putting a Chaos card back on the bottom of your deck, drawing a card. Yep. It's really good. Um, one of Foolish, Rhoda, Monster Reborn. Basically combo extenders. Uh, pretty simple, all staples. Yep. Uh, the round of the deck, one Imperial Order. Um... I know Corbin has his reasons for playing Imperial Order. I'm not sure that is. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the card. Then again, I was a Sky Striker player for a while, so I have my different problems. With it. <laughs> Corbin, we want to explain why you're running Imperial. Well, I saw somebody on YouTube run it. Yep. And like, there's a lot of spell decks out there, like um, Pendulum, Sky Strikers. Yeah. And like. Now, yeah. Corbin, have you ever actually bricked with this deck? Um, uh, sometimes I play this hand and sometimes breaks, but there's always room for changes and improvements. Okay. Guys, let me, let me know down in the description below what changes and what improvements Corbin can do to, to make his deck even better. All right, so on to extra deck. Extra deck. Um, the Nightmare Package, so. Yep. Uh, Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn, um... This one, I'm pretty sure Corbin's not keeping the service. Yeah, I'm not keeping the service. I'm uh, it's not going to stay. When that I long. get a Hulk of Fabrics, we're actually going to come up for Hulk of Fabrics. Okay, um, sounds good. There's better ones. Uh, I would suggest you get a Cypher and Lambda. And oh, use, okay. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, you, Nightmare Package. Yep. Curious because it's Life Swords, you need Curious. And of course. You can extend your combos. Basically, what you want to do with Curious is when you make it, Yep. Effects send Fleece. Then you're going to chain 
So you're going to start chain links after you sent the Felice to grave. You're going to go chain link one curious, chain link two Felice. So curious gets its mill. You stop it from being ashed from the mill. But no, if they haven't ashed you using curious's effect to send from deck to grave, that would be a shock to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for the rest of the links, one borrow load. Borrow sword. Uh, borrow sword, yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking borrow load <laughs> because I was just using borrow load with a different deck. Borrow okay. sword, like I said, you can OTK with this deck. Yep. Pretty easy. One, uh, I always mess up the name. I'm Access used to Code Talker. I'm used to the OCG. Access, uh, Access Code Talker, again, really good card for combos and OTKs and stuff. Yep. Uh, Skulldrick, I told Corbin to put this in because there was times when I was playtesting with his deck where I could go for a link four right away mm -hmm. and it would have unbricked some of the cards that were breaking me at the yep. time. Uh, I think Corbin can agree. Like, yeah, Skulldrick is a great card for Lysworns because, again, we can swarm the field pretty fast. That's the main Exactly. Thought. And guys, we're gonna, after this deck profile, we will be talking about the ban list. As in, we're going to be doing a... Boundless <laughs> prediction. The three of us. Yeah. For synchros, black rose, which when I was playtesting, I never, I only made two synchros out of this. Uh, Michael, lights our name. <laughs> yep. Uh, I may have a French one for you after. It's all right. Um, one chaos ruler. This is one of the two I made. Again, part of the chaos engine is also really good. Yep. Um, can help you with the OTK if you actually can set it up. Um, I don't feel like taking the time to show the OTK on camera because that, it's a lot of explaining and I'm really lazy. <laughs> uh, one Borrow Savage. Of course. Well, pretty standard. If you can, if you want to control turn one and you want to wait one more turn so you can OTK if you're going first, mm -hmm. if you can set up Curious Get that Curious Grave by linking it off. Uh, Sony and Boral Savage equipped you with Curious. You got three negates here, but you only use one per turn. Yep. It's still good because you can also combo it with any of the Chaos Engine, and you can set up multiple things. Yep. So that's it for the Synchros. For the Exceeds, one Abyss Lore, pretty standard, uh, especially in this format. Graveyard use is becoming... Oh, definitely. Game. Especially with Drytron. Uh, Tornado Dragon... Also, back row, this deck kind of hates back row. And then round it off. Of course, the Minerva, main team. which is the main card of this deck. Um, this is what brought Lysworms back to the forefront a couple years ago. Yeah. It brought them back to, like, the pro like topping tournaments. And then Lynx came out, and we kind of fell off a cliff again until we got curious. Yep, pretty much. All right, so that's it for oh, so the I extra. Used to be a prize card. So now, guys, the yes, side it deck. Was, it was a prize that's, I believe Corbin has something spicy in this side deck. So, Triple, Nibiru, yep. Standard. This is why I told him he should pick yeah, up the Lambda. Because. Oh, side frame, the side frame package. Uh, if he has the Lambda, and he makes Lambda while he sides these in. He mm -hmm. can still use the affected gamma even if he has monsters on the field with the lambda, which lets him control the board more and be able to protect stuff. Okay. Uh, Pranky tops, pretty simple. Yep. Special summon it and yep. just go off. Uh, Draw and Lockbird. Um, yep. Well. Compliments of me, guys. Yeah. Draw and Lockbird is pretty simple. We don't want our opponent adding cards. You pretty get to much. do it once, that's it. Herpes Feather Duster, yep. pretty simple. Also compliments of me. Cosmic Cyclone. Yep. And if I can make any suggestion to you, Corbin. Yeah. You do play one red boot, reboot. I would say swap this out for a third Cosmic Cyclone. Yes. Okay. Like if that's okay, got that. your decision. Yeah, uh, I'll do that. That's the uh, side deck. Okay. Uh, I'll let Corbin take it from here. All right. If you want. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, you want to say anything about your deck? Well, yeah. I started playing Lightshorn back in 2008. Yep. And I, when I first read the, the May Buffer, I, I went like, 
that's really powerful. So I decided to build that deck. Yep. It took me uh, about to November to get the JD because they were very expensive at the time. Yep. And so when I did, my old card store, Card Masters, yep. they um, gave it to me $100. And that's like, it be my deck ever since. And Gordon, how much is uh, Ultimate Rare JD going for right uh, now? About $300 right now. Yeah. So guys, if you guys are looking for Ultimate Rare JDs, you guys know the price of them. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get well, four ones. Up, yep. Ulti JDs are up to almost $400 now, actually. Oh, really? They've gone up in the last five months. Oh, okay, wow. so, yeah. I picked up that Ulti JD for $100. Actually, it was a gift for me from my mom. Nice. I'm going to get rid of it. Yep. And so, that's how I... I just have a whole bunch of Ulti JDs, and I got rid of them. Uh, a long time ago, mm -hmm. and uh, the shopping price, so yeah, I'm glad at least I have one now. Yeah, that's good. Uh, uh, shout out, of course, to Corbin's mom, Nancy. Big shout out to you for, for supporting Corbin and, and always helping him out. Um, especially, I want to give a big shout uh, um, I want to give a huge shout out to Corbin himself, uh, the main co-founder of, of this deck. Um, Corbin's, Corbin, you're an amazing player. You always have been. I've I've actually struggled against you a few times playing against you. Um, shout outs to Dylan as well. Um, Dylan is one of my very close friends. So is Corbin. Dylan is still a sack and a scrub, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, Should we talk about those five <laughs> games we played earlier and I five owed you? Okay, let's not get into that. That's another story. Um, and before he continues, yes. Anybody has a union driver, or union carrier, bug with him because I need them. <laughs> yeah, guys, let me know down in the description below if you guys have those cards. Um, we will, I will pay you guys cash, or I can, or I can give you guys trades. With that, with all that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. We will be coming at you with a boundless prediction video and another deck profile, which is uh, which is going to be for pure zodiac. So stay tuned for that. We're coming at you with that with those two things with those two videos in the next in about 15 to 20 minutes. So we will see you guys very soon. Also, Peace. he is not getting the ABC deck profile until I get those cards. So no one's ever. Yeah, so guys, stay tuned for that as well. That's another thing. That's another deck profile that will be that will be coming here very soon. Um, and with all that being said, Outlitch Gaming, peace and out. Peace, guys.